Okay, all my Mud Fossil friends, it is Roger once again, Mud Fossil University, the home of truth. Now, the never-ending saga and story from Missouri, Tish Yeagerton, once again, is out collecting our ancient past. Now, as we've seen before, these are the feet that she originally went out and collected up, and um, they're quite interesting. And uh, I won't dwell on them too much, but did notice the, how the sausage little toes go in the front here. This one still has them attached. This should have been, well, I, I think it was probably sealed up to here because they normally don't have the toes exposed like this. This is a wing nut or something under the bottom that holds pads under the bottom of the feet. Now, you can make your own decision as to what you see. I will present the evidence. Tish has now discovered more, and the one she discovered, uh, I guess it was a couple days ago, is fabulous. I did a, a Skype with her, and I have some excellent stills. Now, um, I'm going to just continue and see what you see. All right, this is just a quick shot. These are other no-toes of mine that are, are very, very blocky and extremely sharp-edged. Uh, not rounded whatsoever. I mean, on the... Uh, the upper edges. All right, these are all no toes. This is the one I showed you of tissues with the um, the wing nut at the bottom. Looks like to me that you just have to see whatever you think. That's these are giant ones. I'm going to go into them in, in much more detail in a moment. And just to start off, so you'll see what everything's going to be about. This is the type of no toe, and they have these funny structures. Two little, they almost look like metal rods running through the back. That's our, the way ours is articulated with the uh, uh, tendon that goes down to the heel bone. And this is the structure that's in the foot. And that is another one that's similar to this, only this one is in, you know, pretty much perfect condition, no erosion. All right, so here, we're going to go into this story right now. Okay, so this is, uh, this is the bottom of the most recent no-toe that Tish has found. And I fully understand the the um, architecture and the design of these feet, and it's it's a way different than ours. Now, you see these white stripes here; those are literally going to go out to the toes. You see this cuppy-looking thing here? That holds a bumper pad, a big bumper pad underneath, and then the toes, like go in these little suction cups on top and they just float around on top there they're really not attached that i can tell although i haven't actually had my hands on the ones that tish had she's in missouri i'm on the east coast totally different mine are fully encased and and, and i can't see the things that hers present which are stunning now this area down here it, it appears to have some form of a bolt that goes through there, like a wing nut or something, and, and it holds on a big pad that goes over this whole thing on the bottom, a big gummy pad. That is, anywhere you see these, these uh, big white calcanus thing, you know, they're, they're white bony structures, and those are the things that hit the ground. All right, that's it, it, that's the way it works. Now, underneath here, though, there is a huge gummy pad. They're very big-footed creatures, very thick. All right, now that's the the, the heel bone that sticks out the back. They have like an assembly that bolts on the side, and there's springs. And I'll show you how they come from the other side. You can see it much much better. And then, of course, the the leg goes up that way. I mean. It's, I don't know what else to say. All of this is red blood. Anytime you see red, rusty, colored, uh, powdery stuff, that is the arterial red blood. And these were dense with that stuff. Dense. And, and it also creates a lot of um, attraction to magnets because it's, it's iron. And, and there might be other forms of iron in these because there's two little plates that go through the back. I don't know what they are. And again, I, I have not had these in my hands. Nobody's taken an interest in it. It's been quite a while now. I mean, it's coming up on, uh, well, it's got to be six months or more, seven, eight months. And because uh, it was last summer that, that uh, 
she saw one of my videos, she went out with the husband, boom, bang, here it is. She just went out the other day, apparently walked out there to see something, and she came back with a foot. The, the, the place is littered. I mean, it's like a graveyard out there. So I've got a buffalo skull crashed in place where they, they drove the buffaloes over the edge. It was just amazing what, she, what she's got there. And uh, I, I, mean, I think it should, somebody should look at it. Anyway, that's, it'll happen, I'm sure. All right, um, let me show you some more. All right, now here's the other side. And you can see the spring assembly runs in here. I have other ones that she's got that have more of spring assemblies. Now you see the text, you see this color here? And you see this, like the, it has like little spring inside the spring, because I've seen some other people have sent me ones that show the spr there's a spring inside it. Look at this. You see that? You see this? You see that? Something's going on there. I don't know what it is, but it sure looks a hell of a lot like this. And that is the pin that holds the springs that that torsion your your foot, and, and it, it's like a, a, a double torsion spring. And I, I have videos that explain it, so I'm not going to get too deep into that. Uh, you, you, what you need to do is go up on it. Unless you've been here with me, then you need to get up there and do it. But um, that's the other side, and it's it's um, it is what it is. And that's the foot. All right, remember I showed you that the cuppy little thing that was in the front of Tish's newest no-toe, and I said there's going to be a bumper pad looking thing under there, and then the toes are going to sit on top. That's this. There's a bumper pad underneath pushes up here. The nose, the toes sit way up here, way, way up here. All right, and there's a stir up here that uh, the 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 tibia rides in. I, I can't remember what we call it on us, but a talus or something like that. This is the strap that I showed you before that runs from the heel bone, and this is the tiny little heel bone that I talked about before that'll be a bony structure. And these are going to be bony structures under, but this is going to be fully padded underneath. With that, I believe it's called gummite. Now, you notice that pin is totally different. So let's talk about what happens when the guy walks. This is his foot facing this direction. So as he steps, he's going to come down on this way. So this is going to hit the front, which forces this up. So what is that going to do? It's going to unwind this. Okay. It's going to wind up this, which has a bumper pad. If you see that color there, that indicates that's a different material, and it is that gummite material. And there is a detent in here. I, I did sort of things that, that, that give me a little bit of authority to talk about this. So, uh, this, this again is going to unwind, and its natural intention is to come back. This is going to unwind so that toes are coming up. As the guy steps, the pressure is this way. This is going to wind up. You see there's a space. This is gummite. This is a detent right here. And this is another gummite pad. As this rocks this way and pulls this in against the spring, there's a, p a pin and a linkage here. There's a pin and a linkage here. You see that? When this goes this way, this linkage pulls this. This linkage, I, I don't think it's going to going to push that. I, I, I think that's a return linkage, to be honest with you, because I think that whole thing goes around this way and comes back. I don't know. I, I, I don't know what to say. But I'd like to see somebody look at it. I mean, it, 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 you know, I, I'm not totally confused about it. I can see how it operates. I can see what I'm looking at. I understand the way machines work. I understand the way biology works. I understand the way chemistry and and and, and these colors are what they are, and the reason the different materials are. And I know the anatomy and uh, and the thing is, it's a cyborg. It's some kind of engineered biological humanoid foot. That's all I can say. If you see something different, well, God bless you. And, and that's all I got to say. What can I say? All right, and that gives you a little perspective, a little kitty feet.
and um, and there it is. All I can say is you can see, I can see, that is not like your foot. Now this is a hominid creature. It is. It ha it, I absolutely guarantee you, it is a hominid creature. It has the same kind of feet, basically doing the same kind of job as ours. Now. I mean, obviously not the same feet, but it's the same job. And they are thick. It comes up here, zoosh, straight out like this. Those toes are going to stick up here. There's going to be a big pad that runs under here, and the whole thing is going to be padded underneath. Absolutely enormous feet. That's a giant from um, Australia somewhere. Somebody sent me. I can't, I don't even remember who sends this stuff. I'm getting so much of it, and I, I, I'm sorry if I'm showing something that you sent me. If I did, please get a hold of me. Let me know where these things are because I, I, I just lost track. Now, that's a giant no toe, and underneath this is eroded too. You see, this has come off of there. This would be out like this. Somebody's broken these things off. You see these little things? That's what's, that's what, uh, See the little yellow stuff in the front here? These pads fall right off of here because it's a it's like gum light. I've got a bunch of other ones. Let me see if I can find something else. All right, here's a. I think this is like a transitional note. So I don't know what to say about this anymore. I really don't. But the pad there's that huge pad that goes under. This obviously is the foot. Back here is where the tibia is, and uh, I believe the fibula was over here. Now, as you come down here, you can see the spring assembly, and, and these that's where the toes are. Now, this has partially become a rounded type of no toe. Most of the other ones are very, very, very blocky. And then you can see the pad that I talked about, that big pad that would go under here. And these are where the toes are. That, those aren't the toes. Those are the gummite pads that, uh, that underride the toes. The toes are here. And you can see if that tree I can cut that tree down you see it right here these are the toes they're broken off they pop right out of there they're very weakly attached because the springs do all the work really and they, they're really like a block as a matter of fact they don't I don't think they really articulate too much I think they're more of a block that sort of rocks like this in that cavity that I showed you and I have one over here they all have the same thing I have some that, that I've broken open they have that cavity same way as that all right, there's another one, the no-toe. You see, that? that's the stuff, this gummy stuff that goes. Now, that should be all filled in, really, all the way from here. You see that? <laughs> that's, the, that's the ball of the heel. And these are the, where I said before they had that white, bony-looking stuff. Anytime you see, that's where, you're gonna, that's where it, you make contact with the ground. This is a spring. That whole thing is going to go boing, boing. Like, and all this rocks are that guy's body, and I believe right there is the guy's heart. So, I, I don't know what to say. All right, now I'm going to leave it at this. This is mine here, and I show, I, I'm not going to bother picking it up. I always drop the damn thing. It's Anyway, this is where the fibula attaches. And they break right off because it's only a, 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 a ligament attachment. It just doesn't have the kind of strength as the, uh, the bones do. Now, the bone would have sat right there and that's gone and you could feel the d depression of it and that's where the blood bled off there's a little bit of red still left in it there's a bloody s signature here due to the fact that that's where the uh, artery runs the, the s this is skin and it's I've got all there's no question what it is and that some of the skin is broken off I can see the toes underneath this is the size of it but this would have been like this it, I mean they're absolutely enormous these feet and then the leg goes straight up very strange because it's not it can't be much more than this area here it's not I don't think it's as, as big of a of a leg coming down like this way how ours sweeps way down and then the toes go out well this I think just comes straight down <laughs> I, I just don't know. I have well, Tisha's has one, and hers comes up, but it, I, I don't know. I have to look at it deeper. This is where these bumps are that I said are going to be the bony and things, and this would have come way down like this on mine too. That's the front. I mean the bottom. So that's what it is, and and then their bones. There's we got bones of everything around here, uh, and everybody's sending me stuff. So it's not something that's. Uh, it's not to be considered credible. Now, um, so anyway, go to Mud Fossil University and uh, hold on. Okay, you might think I'm right, you might think I'm wrong, but if whatever it is, if you'd like, Mud Fossil University up on YouTube's free. Just go up there and 
Haru's around. Uh, we discount nothing. Uh, everything has been fully uh, vetted and checked and uh, scientifically validated. And um, we discuss God and uh, eternity and uh, the ancient past and gold and uh, same thing like Harvard uh, that we sent our research to now agrees uh, with our mud fossil DNA and uh, we've had that for several years now completely certified. So now it's time to go up here and um, see the reality of the world that we live in has been laughed at and considered silly and uh, no real concern over um, what our true history is and our true history is so unbelievable and so important that we should pay an extreme amount of attention to it. You could get lost up here for many, many moons. Mud Fossil University, H4. Can God and His Son be chemically validated? And I say that I can do that. And I did it. So why don't you go up here and look to see what reality is. Because reality is not just a today's reality. Reality is really going to last for an eternity. Something's going to happen. Something's going to happen. You can laugh. Oh, well, I'm going to tell you something right now. I know that I am going to meet my Creator or somebody up there under his authority, or her authority, or whoever's authority, but I will meet that entity, and I will meet them with, with um, some measure of respect. And I hope I'm going to be received, and I hope you will too, but I think you may, may pay, or many pay, should pay more attention, and don't assume that, oh, just because you're a nice person, it's like everything's good. Look a little deeper. Who knows? You might find something that you realize is more, you know, you could, all I'm saying, do whatever you want. I'm looking deep. I'm whitening my robes. Let me put it that way. I see things here that I had never, ever, 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 ever expected. And you will too. Alright, so I guess that's all I have to say. You have to rummage around up here. So I, I can't affect your life. Alright? Okay, I'm, and, and enjoy yourself. And I'm, I have no... Um, offense towards anyone and I hope no one has offense towards me. I respect everyone. I'd like to have a little respect towards me. All right, thank you.